Glad to have you with us from Tampa. Raymond James Stadium as a couple of teams get set to square off in the Union Home Mortgage Gasparilla Bowl. While this game caps off the regular season, how that season is remembered will be impacted greatly by what happens in this game. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Iowa State Cyclones, taking on a team from the Pac-12, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. turn inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Cowboys offense will start this game off. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back, and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Didn't get much on the return, but what a huge play. And they are in business at the 24. Now after watching that interception, I just wonder if this kid's too amped up tonight. He was so excited to take the field. He thought this was going to be a game that he could stat it up. But he's going to have to do a better job tonight with his decision-making. That is not how you want to start a game. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Wide open downfield. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. They'll go back to the ground. And they corral him at the two-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The give to the tailback. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. From the one, it's first and goal as they try to open the scoring here. Motion from the offense. Little touch pass to the receiver. Touchdown, Cyclones! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Going up top on first down. He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop after the catch. and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I get it that the game is the primary thing about going to a bowl, but there are so many festivities surrounding it, Jesse. What do you remember about something you experienced? There was a lot of pageantry when I think back to the bowl games I played in. And you have functions, you get to visit a brand new city, generally in warm weather, you get to meet the other team. There's some friendly competition. The biggest thing that stands out to me, though, was a street brawl against the Miami Hurricanes. Bourbon Street getting ready for the Sugar Bowl. About 120 feet. Hard to forget that.
on second down, looking to throw. It's caught. Hard-nosed, determined effort to work his way up to the 35-yard line. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Get it out on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. The Cowboys will punt this one away. Here's the return. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. From the gun to Gibb, looking for room. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The play action fake. Getting some heat. Takes a hit as he fires. He's got it. And he's running in the open. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Iowa State. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. It's complete! A huge pickup! And they'll do more than move the chain. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. He couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. And the Cowboys in the hurry up. Muscling ahead on third and short. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. The Cowboys are marching down the field. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Snags it over the middle. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the And he strides his way into the end zone. Pistols firing, touchdown Cowboys! What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in the rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And after the extra point, they cut the lead in half, down 14-7. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Out of the end zone. He'll step out of bounds at the 16 and leave his offense with a long field in front. They've got the big fellas out there, a three 
tight end look on first and ten. Pocket starts to collapse. Caught over the middle. It's Clark. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. From the gun, the running back has it. The Cyclones will keep this drive going. Now on first down from the 28. Wide receiver shows motion. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. And the Cyclones have it with a first and 10. He'll keep it himself. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment the football. And watch the linebacker. You can tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break the tackle. Gets him on the ground. He makes the stop almost as soon as he catches it. And they're short of the first down. On third and long. Try to convert through the air. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Yeah, that's a great job. And listen, this quarterback's had success. He's already thrown for two touchdowns. we got to make him feel uncomfortable. This is still early in the game. Nice job by the defense getting a hit on the quarterback and making him think a little bit. The Cyclones send out the punt unit. Looks it all the way in and now turns his attention upfield. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. And the Cowboys want to crank the tempo. One thing I've noticed from talking to coaches about their approach to bowl games is how many of them use it as a springboard for next season. They try to focus on developing some of the new guys, maybe, that have joined them for the bowl practices. I mean, you get 15-plus extra practices. You start to play and experience more as young guys. The older guys get a little bit more rest. But, yeah, you're building the future. You're building the foundation. You're working on your technique. And you know what? You also get to have some fun. I think that's important for team building is having fun at your location, doing the different things together to start to build that unity that will make a big difference in the future. Yeah, there's a saying in college football that in your freshman year, when you get to bowl season, you're no longer a freshman. A lot of players grow up, you get the extra practices mentally and from a confidence standpoint, you turn the page. I can remember back to my true freshman year when getting ready to play Penn State. We had a lot of NFL talent in my freshman class, and everybody just seemed to grow a foot taller. They were playing with a different intensity level that really paid off for us the next year. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. They're facing a third down. They'll try to run for it. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And the Cyclones will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable in that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They're bringing heat. And boy, was that pressure in his face immediately. Down he goes. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell the defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield, got the big play. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete as time has expired here in the first quarter. That's the end of the period, and Iowa State has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. The Cowboys will send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. 
Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Iowa State sending the offense back out. They'll try the run. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. It's a draw. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30th, third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. At the 40, there he goes. Running toward the tape. He's at the 10. And he walks his in for the score. Touchdown, Cyclone. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous and he gets into the second level. Great vision and then he shows you the speed. Just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, long touchdown run. Add those stats, young fella. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish. A 70-yard run to the end zone. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the field. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. He is a menace rushing the passer, career sack number 20. I mean, some people just have a knack from getting to the quarterback. What a great job throughout his career. Getting there, getting him down, getting pressures. He has been a quarterback's worst nightmare. I was just going to say, David, you don't sleep well as a quarterback the night before you have to play against this guy because he is going to sack you. That is a guarantee. Death, taxes, and sacks for that guy. He will make the fair catch just a few yards shy of midfield. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Fires into traffic, intercepted. No real chance on the return, but they've got it at the 34. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. You know, it's easy to catch the football, but it's a lot harder to catch it when you're about to be out of bounds and you got to twist your body and turn it and keep it in bounds. What a great job by the receiver. Great body control, staying in bounds and making the finish. And the Cowboys racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the grab. And he's brought down after a nice game. They move to the 16. It's first and 10.
Going to the run. It's Fields. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Fast motion from the offense. On second down, he'll let it fly. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. The Cowboys have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. And they'll spread receivers all over the field. Five wide on second and goal. He's looking to throw. To the end zone, and it's picked off. Great job by the freshman. Kept his eyes in the right place and made the play. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Iowa State sending the offense back out. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him. Maybe get the ground game going, help him. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some moment. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And that's what I like most about this defense. When you try to take shots and make big plays, they get to the quarterback. They get him on the ground, their third sack of the day. And this is a unit that ranks in the top ten in sacks in the country. The Cyclones will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll feel the putt and look for room. He slips through the line. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Cowboys come to the line in the hurry up. Back to the ground with the running back. Fights off the defender. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw. They'll run the screen. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. The Cowboys come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. Well, that's their third sack of the game, and we knew statistically coming into this game, this is one of the top 25 units in the nation getting after the quarterback. I just love how athletic they are up front, and they are giving this offensive line headaches and nightmares up to this point of the game. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false, false start. 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 Offense. Offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Quick strike complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Complete downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. 
And the Cowboys have their offense in high gear. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They'll put the brakes on him at the 21, give him a yard. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And with the completion out to the sideline, they'll pick up a couple. They've been very good at moving the chains on third down. Two for two on this drive. This time they need six. From the gun, wants to pass. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. The holder will kneel at the 24, a 34-yarder coming from the right hash. It is perfect. After putting up the three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. The give on the inside. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. At the 35, he's open. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain. And they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Finds a tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Pressure coming. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. A new set of downs after the completion. He'll just keep slinging it. Got the quick pass. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. He's looking to throw it. Safe completion on the screen. The offense will quickly use the timeout. Well, the offense trying to get the screen pass to the running back and get him out in the space to do some damage, but the defense not having it. No gain on that play. He caught it! And he will score! Touchdown, Iowa State! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point sails through for a 28-10 lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. It's complete! Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling for the first down. He's going to pass. Coming after it. And they got him for the sack. 
Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Just enough time to get off one more snap. Going to the ground. Still running at the 40. Open runway ahead. The 20. Inside. Into the end zone unimpeded. Except for that piece of laundry on oh, the field. Oh, this oh, might oh, be oh, coming oh, back. The penalty wipes out the big play and the touchdown. It is just a punch in the gut for any offense. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Reese, talk about an edge of your seat type first half. This Gasparilla Bowl has lived up to expectations. Each of these two offenses has looked like well oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to Reese and the guys for the conclusion of the Gasparilla Bowl. The Cowboys will burn it away to start the second half. Bringing it out. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Iowa State sending the offense back out. They more than got the job done in the first half. Now the job in a bowl game. Don't get distracted and finish the deal here. And the sack all the way back at the five. Well, the offense obviously already in bad field position. The defense can smell blood in the water. Just look at the defenders pin their ears back and get after this quarterback. Wow. They'll come to the line and try to get out of this mess on second down from the five. Takes the handoff. It's Lee. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Cyclones decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. And the returner goes down. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. The give to the back. Across the 25, he's got room. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He's got him still on his feet. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. We've got a timeout here as this coach is challenging the call. He wants to give the replay booth the chance to have another look. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. Running back searching for a hole. Still on his feet. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And the Cowboys trying to cash it in on first and goal. They want to throw it. Looking for the score. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. The more drives like this is what's needed. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And they make the extra point to draw closer. It's 28-17. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 
And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Used to play fake. Now to throw. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And they get him down at the 43. But this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. That big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow it's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Takes the handoff. It's Lee. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Cyclones will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And nobody able to handle that punt. They'll let it bounce and roll out of bounds. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They Off he goes! He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Got his man quickly. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. The Cowboys moving quickly to the line. Shotgun snap on third down. Makes the grab over the middle. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. The give out of the gun. They tried it again and got the same result. They'll get nothing in like it. Now they're looking at a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. And this has been the story of the night. The offensive line getting beat up. And this is why this team is losing. you got to protect your quarterback. This defense has had a field day with their fifth sack of the game. And the Cowboys will try to pin them back with the punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. He's able to pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the punt team. Using his legs, it's Lee. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Solid pick up a four on first down at second and six. He'll pull it on the read. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Lost to fire on second down. They're setting up the screen. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Got it set up on the outside. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And the Cyclones line up to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He only needs a sliver of daylight. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. 
The offense set for a first down play. They'll give it to the back. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short gain. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The Cowboys headed quickly to the line. They'll run for it on third and short. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking for room. It's Fields. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground? Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? The Cowboys will call on their punt team. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. Iowa State sending the offense back out. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. And I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. They're trying to get to it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. What if I had told you this quarterback would be sacked at least five times in this game and yet still somehow would be weak? It's not normally how it works. I gotta give the offense credit because even though they've suffered some serious negative plays, they've still been able to make some good things happen. The Cyclones will punt this one away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets a block. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to Nothing kick the kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Unloads to the wideout. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And I tell you what, the defense has played zone. All eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. On first down, here comes this offense. Wide out in motion. Looking for a crease, it's Fields. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And the Cowboys are in the hurry up. Off the play fake. He'll take a shot. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. A Lazarus-like comeback is underway. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him. And the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. You can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. They're going to go ahead and go for two here and try to make it a field goal game. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll go to the air. 
and it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Quickly complete. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. Second down coming up. They'll leave it with him. Bulls his way forward. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the ground, he's got it again. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. They'll line up for a second down play. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. There to make the stop, and we play three in this one. That's the end of the period, and Iowa State has the lead. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter steps. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll try to power their way ahead. Reach the tackle, and he's got room. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Third down and inches, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to be physical and they're going to run the football, but they still executed a good level. Not only picking up the first down, but chewing up more yardage to make this drive even easier. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down, now here they come again. On second down, he's looking downfield. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And the Cyclones come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. On target to the left. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. Wide receiver now comes in motion. A first down run on the doorstep. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Hand off from the gun. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. 30. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cyclones. And for this receiver, hello, Byron. Hello, viral, and on every platform, everywhere, you're going to see it in top plays. Not one, not two, not three. Just continuing to count the touchdowns. This guy's been balling. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Cowboys want to pick up the tempo. Leaves it with the back. Makes his man miss. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he wants it all. And here's the third interception of the night. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. 
Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation for fourth quarter. I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. The offense lining up for a first down play. They'll put the tight end in motion. Off the play fake on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Clark. And that is good versatility there. And a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. On second down, just keeps firing. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. It's good. Easy call for the refs. And that lead grows even bigger. You've got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now, the seventh sack of the game. Let's see if they can get out of their own way on second and long from the eight. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's both. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Soft spot in the middle. A little more space. Open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. He's up to 113 yards rushing in this game, and he's almost certain to reach the 1,500-yard mark for the season. Right back to the well. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the Cowboys want to move quickly. On second down, looking again to throw. Complete in the middle. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job exit. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. They'll throw again after the incompletion. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. This poor quarterback has been running for his life. He has never been able to get his feet set, stare downfield, and try and pick this defense apart because he's constantly throwing the pressure in his face. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Unleashes one deep. 
and trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. And man, oh man, he is in the dark tonight. His fourth interception. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Iowa State sending the offense back out. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kick, who is so important to this team. It's first and ten for this offense from the 42. Power football with the run. Shakes off the tackle. And the ball's out, and they're after it. Second down after the offense recovered its own fumble. And you want that clock to run. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Goodness gracious. This is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game. Are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. The Cyclones send out the punt unit. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to escape and get it himself. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. The Cowboys will hustle to the line. He wants to throw here on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Snagged in the middle. It's Polk. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Makes his connection. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy that slot position. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked up. It's caught. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Got his man. And he's brought down after a nice game. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Trying to find his man on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Clock's running and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. This is hard for the late touchdown, so let's not put this one to bed just yet. And that's step one. Great job by this offense of getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. you got to get the football back. you got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside, to get the football back, to get back in this football game. And with the lead sitting at nine, they'll try to make it a one-possession game. 
And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Just over a minute to go, and if they have a chance, they've got to come up with this onside kick. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. One possession game, getting late. First order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and lead the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level. Though. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with the ball. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Looking to go up top on first down. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Looking to throw on second down. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. and They've got to push the ball down the field. They're bringing heat. He'll pull it down. They make the stop and the clock strikes zero and that will do it for this one. Scoreboard operator got a workout in this one. Fun game for us to watch, but they can't come up with the W. Yeah, and it's a team game, right? The offense did their job, and now defense will have to find a way in the future to make better plays, get stops, and stop them scoring so many points, especially when your offense does their job. And we see a lot of games like this in college football when both offenses are just trading blows back and forth, and it just comes down to which defense can get a stop. And unfortunately for the losing team, they just were not able to get it done. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.